Kingdom Sẽ bớt mấy giờ ở thì mọi người xuống đây trong đây hẳn uh, uh, đi mà nhanh á về uh, chưa về là sẽ đi uh, qua tập hợp anh em một kinh đâm thì rồi rồi quay được khóc đi quay you give me rồi đó anh ta you can you give me the khóc Oh no. Bây giờ cũng giống vậy ha Mình sẽ vô để mình uh, uh, Security check Trước khi mà Mình sẽ có bức trường Mình sẽ có bức trường Right here, because of the huge and the most rare species of macaw left in the wild today. So it's amazing to see them so close and in action. And our birds have the coolest job ever. They get to do whatever they want. That's a pretty great job, right? That's pretty awesome. So here's how it works. We have an aviary. It's actually about a half a mile behind the scenes. And when we open up this big bunch of aviary, they can fly anywhere. But they usually choose to come out here with us because we have pockets full of their favorite foods. We use positive reinforcement training. So whenever they do something we like, they do something they like. Yeah, it's pretty nice, isn't it? So they give plenty of their favorite treats. And it helps us to build relationships with these birds and increase the likelihood they do that behavior, like landing here, and hopping around all these perches over and over again. But you might have noticed they're a little bit noisy. Yeah, they're a little loud. Which in the wild is actually a really helpful tool for them. They live in the tall canopies of the rainforest. That loud voice can help them communicate with their flock. But imagine if you have a bird in your home, like a parrot as a pet, that can be super challenging for so many reasons. For one of them is they can live to be over 50 years old. So imagine 50 years of them screaming so loud and tearing into just about anything in your home. Their beak is super powerful and can easily chew into any piece of furniture. Wood is their very favorite. So enjoy them at places like Disney Animal Kingdom. This is the perfect place to do it. I am a Thank you. 
During mating season, their skin turns a shade of pink, which helps us to indicate that they'll be mating soon. They also are one of the very few bird species that does not sweat. Instead, they have a guller under their bill that they'll inflate and flutter to help them regulate that body temperature. And then, of course, over here to your left, you're going to see a hippo under the water. Hippo do spend the majority of their time underwater. For about eight minutes at a time, they'll be under that water before they bob up their head to get some air. Hippos are very territorial and they will protect their own. You do not want to find yourself near a herd of hippos. And then of course, over here to the left, we're going to see some Nile crocodile. The difference between a crocodile and an alligator is their snout. They can be anywhere from 16 to 20 feet in height. And they have seven bones in their neck, just like us humans. Those two points on their head are called ossicones. And a lot of times you'll see them standing up for the majority of their time, but specifically out in the wild, it's because to get themselves down to the ground, it does put them in a very vulnerable position, which does make them easily preyed upon out in the wild. six times the vision and it has been said you can hear that lion's roar from about five miles away protecting the cubs and the kofi. But it is not an easy job. That male has to fight off all other males from the cubs, or from taking over those cubs and those kofi. 